Lucy die will wait until the ambulance disappears. No, that's just the norm around here. And if you think the ambulance are bad, the airplanes are worse. Anyways. Today's audio is about passive, aggressive people. And the internet is filled with that. So what do I mean by passive aggressive? It means like you're passive and you're aggressive. No. So when someone's aggressive, right? And this is where I can appreciate people who are aggressive. Now, if you're aggressive for whatever reason, right? I'm not really sure. These days it's hard to distinguish between who's actually crazy and who's actually mental with both being in the same category like that whole situation I cannot help you with that you know I just don't know how to explain anything in this world anymore um but people who are aggressive meaning for example if maybe you stare at somebody and they're like what are you looking at and truthfully people have staring habits sometimes and they don't realize it so you might continue looking or you might get aggressive also and then next thing you know a fight breaks out right but it was pretty obvious the person is aggressive but now we have passive aggressive which is people who are aggressive (laughs) but they do i gotta i gotta check a definition up for this because sometimes you go through things and you know what it is but you don't know how to explain it so Someone says here, passive aggressive behavior is a communication style where people indirectly express negative feelings like anger or frustration instead of addressing the situation directly. It can be verbal or nonverbal. Oh, then I guess it's not passive aggressive. I don't even know what to call it. But I hate it when people... Wow, it's really hard to put emotions in words. I don't blame you if you actually have a hard time. I don't like it when people are very, almost like yelling at you through text, email, messages, without cap locks. Sorry, cap, caps lock, caps lock, cap, oh my goodness, what is up with me today, caps lock. But yet, by the way they're, they're typing or writing, you can tell that there's some aggressive aggressivity there. So for example, like you might say, oh, how do you think I look in the red dress? And they might text you back and say, um, you have more dresses that you could wear. Why did you pick that red one? Why are you wasting my time? Kind of like that vibe. Like they're not yelling, but it feels like they are yelling. And, um, yeah, there are people like that on the internet. Like, it's funny, because I would expect it from somebody I know. Like, if someone told me, like, my mom is kind of like that. If my mom was like that, I I get it, because that's my mom. And it ticks me off. But with strangers, like, really? You're using that tone with me, and you don't even know me. Um, yeah, it's like when your boss also is a little bit hostile in the emails it's like that and boy oh boy it's like I don't see the point of being like that because it's just annoying so have I been dealing with people like that on this whole platform yeah the funny part is I've actually communicated and kept the emails going right I said, I'm done. Like, I just don't need your business or I don't need your interaction. So I haven't blocked people like that yet. I've just kind of deleted emails, comments like that. But I think I'm going to go in the direction of blocking. I, I, I think it's funny because you see creators when they block different people and you're like, oh, why are they blocking? But I get it, because some of you, not you, obviously, right? But some people are really annoying, really annoying. And I just don't know why you think you need to be like that. But let's talk about some things that um, if you are not a creator or you've never been a creator and um, 
you don't know how to kind of deal with the opposite side of the creator side and you are either a fan a customer or just like a loyal follower what should you do what you should notice okay so a couple of things if you are going to suggest be gentle when you suggest right because some creators might take your suggestions as criticism and there's nothing wrong with criticism but sometimes criticisms can be like you're not satisfied or content with what i did right and then why are you telling me that you're not content with what i did when you can go find different people so for example if you're like oh um serena why are you talking about a red dress please talk about a black dress next time it's like um I wanted to talk about red dress and then now you're just kind of pushing it away and saying talk about black dress but instead you could reword it saying like oh I love what you talked about in the audio with the red dress do you think you can do a black dress next time like that's more gentle and there's a lot of you who actually are really gentle and you know what you're talking about and then there are some people who they terrorize. I haven't had it happen to me, but I've seen it happen to different creators where they just attack and attack and attack and attack. And it's like, um, I feel bad because uh, it does it does affect people's mental health, right? If there's one thing about me, mentally, I am very, very strong. And that's mainly because of my background, how I grew up my work environment like that really shaped me up and I have friends who like they've been in really great families a really great work environment and they cannot handle the pressure so it's it's um you got to watch out with how you're dealing with creators right you don't know where their backgrounds are um and I always say it's better to be gentle like gentle like talking to a baby, just do that in the comments. Like, don't say goo gaga, but you get the idea. Next thing, if you notice a pattern in a creator's um, video or audio or whatever, don't suggest something completely different. So, for example, if the creator just likes to talk about eating, 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 you might bring up drinking, right? Okay, um, can you do a video or audio about drinking? That's fine. But if you say, oh, like, this is so boring, when are you going to do something else? Or this is so boring, can you start doing um, videos or audios about drinking? It's like, you get it how you reword it? It's not the greatest wording ever, so just be mindful about... Um, the way you're approaching or giving suggestions and I'm gonna be honest with you sometimes less is more if you're expecting something don't be too detailed because when you're more detailed it's harder to accomplish right um and if the creator hasn't done it before offer it as a suggestion but don't expect for it to happen Meaning like if you're buying a custom and you want the creator to talk about, um, again, let's go back to the dresses, talk about black dresses, but they only talk about red dresses. Don't, don't force it on the creator. There's a reason probably why they haven't talked about black dresses. Maybe they don't have experience with it or they just don't know how to do it. So like saying, like offering like, oh, you know, I love how you did the audio with the red dress. Do you think you can do something similar with, with a black dress? And then if they say, no, I can't, then either you continue with the red dress or you just say, okay, I'm not interested anymore, but thank you for your time. Like, I'm telling you, being polite is really the way to go nowadays. And a lot of people don't know how to be polite, which shocks me. But... Trust me, I've seen it too many times, even in real life. <laughs> for example, like, um, I don't see people saying, oh, thank you for your time, or I really appreciate you sending this email out to me. Like, that does not exist anymore. Or it's very, they don't even do hello or hi. It's just, 
And now, some, I remember like years ago, I would sit and I would constantly fight with myself, like how to write this email, how to write. And then the reply would just be like very stale, very unexpected, very like there's no manners there. And I said, you know, screw it. I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. I'm just going to be very direct, but what I'm so polite though. I'm not losing my touch of being polite. It's so strange though, how things have gone in a different direction. You might be like, oh, it's a new generation. It's a new generation. No, these people are older than me. So there is some expectation that, you know, even if you're older or even if you're younger, you should still be polite. There is no preference for age. It's just so shocking. But yeah, that's my two cents basically right now. Um, yeah. There are too many people who have crazy expectations and it's like, editing takes time. It takes a lot of time to edit. Um, the filming part or like the recording part is not even the hard part. It's just always the editing. The editing takes forever, forever. And I can't even imagine people who do like really high quality videos. Their editing time must be days, weeks. I used to do um, animations when I was in middle school. And I remember I would spend the whole day, like literally the whole day. Maybe I would wake up like 10 a.m. in the morning and then like at 10 p.m. at night, nonstop editing, editing, tracking, tracking, like color grading. It was just so much. And I was just in middle school. And I would take maybe a week or two and push myself, push myself. Um, and I was one person, so I can imagine that it takes time to do a lot of stuff. And that's why people pay, like they pay different people to edit because honestly, I wouldn't want to edit. <laughs> it really sucks the fun. That's why you'll hear a lot of singers still be like, I don't know, what song are you singing? Like maybe you would be like, oh, I love your song, blah, blah, blah. And they'll be like, huh? Because they're so sick of hearing it so many times through the editing process, through the recording process, that they kind of just be like, uh, it feels like work, enjoyment. Yeah. But yeah, that is so far what I have to say. I probably will talk about more issues that maybe I've seen or encountered. But that's pretty much it. So bye.